right, so Scorpio, we're going to do something different. I feel like your person has something to say to you, and they don't know what to say. And I just did a video for Gemini like this, but I feel like we need to do one for you too, okay? So if this resonates for you and you know who this is, go ahead and thumbs it up. Thumbs up the video, all right? So let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Let's see what the energy is for Scorpio. Let's see what the energy is for Scorpio. This person wants to say to Scorpio, let's see what's going on that they can't really say. What's going on here? Angels, ancestors, or high stuff. I know what they say. What's going on for Scorpio? What this person wants to say for Scorpio, but can't. Okay. So we have the hangman. Wow. I feel like this person wants to give you a chance to just, you know, um, make things right. I'm not going to even lie. This is what this energy is all about. And I feel like this person is just saying, like, in reverse about it as well they feel like they sacrificed way too much when it comes to this relationship when it comes to this connection with you and they want you to actually sacrifice now they want you to take responsibility of the situation wow the six of cups here they want you back but they feel like you know what they have done too much they have done too much now it's your time that's what they're saying like they're like it's your time now like i've done too much when it comes to this relationship and I feel like you feel the same for this person. This is a mutual feeling. This is a mutual contract between you and this person. Um, this is a past energy as well. So this is someone that is in your past. You might not even be talking to this person honestly, Scorpio. This is what I'm seeing. But when you do see them again, you feel very, very good. I'm seeing this. I'm feeling like you and this person has been waiting for each other. If you want to say this, like there's some kind of... Uh, clarity that needs to happen between you and this person you know some kind of like what happened here why didn't it work kind of vibe okay tell me more Ooh. so we have the page of pentacles here and then we have the five of wands so I'm feeling like why am I this is feeling like really hot on me for some reason So I'm feeling like this person is trying to make sure that they're at a place where they can make you have some kind of answers, even stability. They want to be able to offer you some kind of message or maybe take you out, um, just maybe, you know, take you on a date. I'm seeing like, you know, they just have a lot of, thing, a lot of things planned here. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be a while and I feel like this energy is someone that you walked away from when in an argument something happened between you and them you guys had an argument and you just couldn't see where you guys can just get it together and I feel like this energy is like oh now it's time for us to try to make things right here it's time for us to t like talk about this and try to see if we can be at the same place again or the same spot when it comes to what we want in our lives, okay? And then we have the moon here. And I feel like there was a huge mistake that happened between you and this person. And it really made your 1111 feel a certain way. So a lot of you are like, this person is just can't be for me. No, not with this. Not with what they have done. And I feel like at this point you felt betrayed. You felt like, you know what, this person put you in a place where you didn't appreciate. I feel like you felt like you were in danger. I feel like you got into some kind of depression, um, disappointment here. Uh, I feel like in the moon, you were just like so devastated that you just didn't know how to trust yourself again with this situation. So there was a lot of times, why am I hearing that was like red flags, you know? This is what I'm hearing. They were red flags. And no one like really followed their intuition here. This is what I'm seeing here. So can I have some messages for um, Scorpio with this energy, please? What this person wants to say, what this person wants to say to Scorpio that they can't. Look at that. Pay attention to what? The red flags. <laughs> okay. Then we have here. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. You're going to see this person again. A lot of you are going to want to be with this person. Look at the Six of Cups waiting for this person. 
It's like you want to have another chance with this person. And so does this person wants to have another chance with you, by the way. And <laughs> look at that. Calling in your soulmate. So you feel like this person is your soulmate. And like I said, there was a contract here. This is what I'm feeling, you guys. There's a contract. Okay? So release your ex is also called coming in here. So this could be a soulmate contract, okay? Um, this could be a situation where this ex person is coming back in and you're getting the clarity. But with the Six of Cups, I feel like this is a past contract person. I'm seeing the soulmate card. So you're like really manifesting this person back into your life, okay? And then um, listen to the red flags. The red flags have always been there in the past. This is what I'm seeing here. <sighs> this person wasn't ready. This is the vibe that I'm getting. But they look at you as the Queen of Pentacles here. I'm seeing the Fool showing up. So when this person comes around, you're not going to trust it. You're not going to want to, you know, jump into this right away. The Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Because you felt like there was someone else between you and this person. Someone that you just don't care about anymore. I'm seeing releasing a lot of this energy. You're not in fear anymore. Whatever happened, happened. I'm seeing the page of wands here. But there was a lot of anxiety with this situation. This person didn't share this with you. That's what hurt you most. Okay, I'm seeing the sun in reverse as well. So this person drained the hell out of you. Let's just talk about that, you know? <laughs> took your sun away, took your bliss, took your happiness. And I feel like a lot of you fell into some kind of depression and stress, like I said, in the moon, and you kind of released your energy and just like got over that. But now this person that did the five of swords to you, they want to come back. They're like waving this five, th those white flag. So uh, you have a lot to consider in this situation. I feel like this person that is coming in, they just want you to know like all these things. Like, I am the one, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy that did this to you, had someone else. This is what this person is saying. I feel like they're giving you the clarity in this reading that they couldn't give you in real in, in real physical life. Because in the Page of Wands, they're showing me that they were very shy or very afraid. Or they just knew that they needed to talk to you and they didn't. You know, they didn't. They made that energy overlap everything. And this really made the situation morally. It wasn't a light at the end of the tunnel for you. This is what I'm hearing. Like they look at you as the light. They look at you as this bliss energy. And they definitely feel like you deserve better than what they have given to you. But for some reason, this person is saying, hey, I can't get this person out of my head. I can't. Then we have the five of swords here where they're just like cause a lot of conflict completely to the point of being so cold to you in the past and it was like who is this person who is this person and you really just couldn't believe that this is the same person that caused you look at that the ten of swords the ten of swords a lot of you are still dealing with this by the way you release a lot of depression and stress and fear you're not living in fear anymore but you're still going through this this ten this Ten of Swords, you know, this mental and physical agony every day. A lot of you could be in pain because this person brought so much um, stress into your life. And I feel like the words, too, with this coldness wasn't very nice. Wasn't very nice. And I feel like this person brought a lot of illness into your life as well. Because you were so stressed out. And when you're stressed, you become sick, you know, if you're not very careful. So the Seven of Pentacles is also showing up. The Six of Swords is here. A lot of you are trying to move forward. But it's just like you're being forced to do this. In this connection. Like you didn't want to. You weren't ready. But you were so highly embarrassed at this point. That you felt like this was something that you needed to do. This was a bad investment. This was a bad investment. Alright. So Hermit. Let's see, Virgo energy, for those of you who are with a Virgo, we also have the five of pentacles showing up here. This is something that you're still dealing with. You have the chariot. So this person is still not free. This is what I'm seeing. In Cancer, okay, in Cancer, we have the king of cups and we have the nine of pentacles. Wow, be careful, you guys. Be careful. Now, the calling, okay, I'm seeing two different, I'm going to clarify, you know, 
because you're calling your soulmate. And this could be the same person, unfortunately, because the Six of Cups, I wouldn't say, if, I wouldn't say this was your soulmate, you know, if the Six of Cups was, was, wasn't, was here, because this is a huge connection. This is like, you're being drawn back together each time. It's like in and out each other's life. Just because this person have um, free will, you know, this person has free will, so do you. And they have the right to do whatever they want. And soulmates, it's like, I always tell you, the soulmates are the ones that come in your life to teach you a lesson, all right? <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's a big lesson. You know, some we stay together and we go through it together and some we just can't and we separate. But I feel like this person is coming into your life and you're waiting for them and it's your ex release your ex there's so many things that's going on between you and this person that you haven't got the clarity from you know that's what i'm feeling here it's like you know you know that this person and you have this strong pull because you invest in so much time with this person this is what you're telling me and the funny thing is this is still up in the air for a lot of you like this is still up in the air because the Five of Pentacles is not in reverse. This is something that is still open. I'm seeing like you're trying to take a spiritual route with this. You're trying to be strong. You're trying to be brave. You're trying to be at a place where you can get back to this situation and be clear-headed. And this is this is the important thing for you, you know, and the Hermit. So you're trying to make better decisions here, you know. I feel like you're trying to be alone to figure this out and try to see how you can clear this up. Because this person still, even all this time, has not made a decision. Why may I seem like they're still confused between something? I feel like, again, you know, because they chose something over you before. This two of ones, this is why you don't trust them. And then you have the chariot here. So they're not quite coming to you with their heart and everything else. They're coming to you because, of course, they miss you and they definitely want to talk to you. But they feel like they have something else that they're not quite finished with yet. And they're not going to sacrifice anything for it, for you, because they feel like you have to sacrifice. Now it's your turn. And this is the whole vibe from this, this reading that I got. And it's like, the, it's like they want to come, like, this is the offer that they got, but they're not going to give it to you. They're watching you from afar. And they wish they were with you. This is a crazy, crazy reading, because they're looking at you as a nine of pentacles so amazing so happy so blissed but they're stuck into something y'all and i feel like this is what you found out before like this energy was stuck into something else hmm Whew. all right let me see what's going on here let's get some energy some messages from this person so tell me about scorpio and this person i feel like this person wants you to know like you're beautiful like they see that you're beautiful they see that you are going to be or you're on your path to be financially successful even if some of you are already they look at you as this powerful independent person that doesn't need anyone you know and they wish they were that person for you you know but something about this energy y'all that this person is stuck okay i awake I'm sorry, I lie awake thinking about you, thinking about our future, number four. So they still think about you a lot. I lie awake thinking about our future. What is this? Number seven, let me hold you. And then we have number 15, I'm obsessed with your body. I feel like this person is like, really like dreaming about you why am i feeling like this person's having dreams you make my heart full number 10 tell me more you are wrong wow they're pointing out that you are wrong about something you're gonna have to sacrifice okay you have so many choices and options they know that you do look at that look at that they better know they better know <laughs> this is how you're coming out but there's something tying this person up. So they're hearing everything that you're saying about them. So 
So gossip only hurts more. Oh, I'm getting this card as well. Love is the answer. So I got that card before these two. It's funny. And then I'm seeing I'm ready. Number zero. So the fool. So this person is ready to jump back in with you. But they want you to sacrifice something. You must be with someone else. They're saying that you moved on. You moved on. Yeah, they want to talk to you. The Ace of Swords. They want to talk to you. I feel like this person have changed. They have changed. They have learned from the situation that they brought you through. Yeah, you are their son. They're light. But they put you through hell. Your family won't like me. Something about your family. So they don't want you out of together. Ooh, look at that. The passion is real. The passion is real. <laughs> if I follow you, I could lose everything. This person is coming off married. I'm feeling like a married vibe here. I'm feeling like this person is taken, y'all. That's what I'm feeling because they cannot give you their heart. Like, it's like they can't make their way to you. What? It's, it's like something is, they're stuck. Ace of Pentacles. They already have a family. But they're so passionate about you physically. So you need to be careful with this person. I feel like sometimes we're meant to be friends with our soulmates, honestly. You know, it's, you know, we're not all supposed to be here to be in love. And, you know, this person is really looking at you very sexually. Sex with you, sex, you know. They're just bringing up all these um, cards of being obsessed. I'm obsessed with your body. Sex with you, sex. I mean... <laughs> It's like, this is what I'm feeling. So you need to be very careful with this energy. I feel like this person, they're saying, if I follow you, I could lose everything. I feel like, and then I just did another card and I got the Ace of Pentacles. This person has another foundation, another family. Even though they think of you as their light and they want to talk to you, it's like I'm getting this vibe that they're not going to be able to give you what you want. They're like, like you're coming off so, so amazing. So amazing to them. It's like they got themselves in a situation, in a bond. And if they leave what they have, they have to start over from scratch. But I feel like this is where this person's journey is going anyways, right? Because, yeah, I feel like that's where they're going anyways. They're going to have to start over. And a lot of you are in debt, money issues. Don't give this person any more money, even if they ask. They already have something that... Um, because you're coming off very, very financially capable, capable to take care of yourself. And I feel like this person is not going to give you back any kind of money. Okay? Alright, so this is what I have for you. This is how I'm going to leave it. I hope that everybody has a beautiful day. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.